The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, I'm Ian Utabi, and this is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Unboxing Review. Today we're going to take a look at one of the twins. This is Zamot Paoli. I never knew his last name, so this is, or never paid attention. I just know him as Zamot and his brother Tomax. Um, first things first, before we get started with this, I just wanted to say if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go up there and hit that subscribe button. Um, it help out the channel a whole lot, trying to get to 2,000 for the end of the year, and there's a good chance we could make that happen. Also, uh, we got super thanks, super chats. We got memberships available if you're interested. If you want to do that, hit that join button. Also, check out the other Rejecticons, Kato's Collection, Reviews, Larkin's Lair, and Sardo Noon Spot 82. All right, so this, <laughs> before we even get into the figure, let, let me talk about a couple things. And I don't want to say like I'm ranting because I don't really do that crap. But I do want to point out a couple things that I think should have been done. First of all, <laughs> These shouldn't be individually packed. They should be a two pack. They should come together. I don't I don't know what the thought process was on doing individual packs for something that is so well known for coming together as a two pack. The, the twins. I had these figures as a kid and and not to the fact that they look spot on. I mean, they look really, really good in packaging. We haven't taken it out yet, but they look really, really good. Why are they not a two pack? I don't know. All right, well, let's get to the figure itself. So, anyway, individual pack. Got some nice artwork. We're going to show off his accessories here when you get him out of packaging. Uh, got him in the suit here on the side. I think the suits would be a perfect uh, PulseCon exclusive or some kind of Pulse exclusive where they come in two suits and a two pack. I think that would be awesome. Artwork on his back. Number 45. The stats. We still need a file card. Let's get him out of the box and actually get to looking at the figure and everything he comes with. All right, we'll start off with the accessories. He comes with two knives, and both of them are very similar. I think they're basically the same. Got two silver painted knives here. Nothing fancy about the handles, I can tell. There's something inside the handle. Let's see, can we make it out? Um, not sure. Not sure what that is. Can't make, make it out like a little dot or something, I don't know. Knives look pretty good. So, uh, one thing I'm excited about is the real world weaponry. And here we go. The MP5. Very nice. Uh, comes with a magazine and a suppressor. And you just plug it into the barrel. You just plug it into the barrel. There we go. All right. Very nice. Looks really good. Magazine. Uh, We'll sit in there like that, put it right in here. That, and there you go. Love it. Tons of detail, real world, uh, huh. no stock. So this thing is for, for short, short <laughs> enclosed rooms and clearing out a lot of space. But uh, it's kind of cool. I wish there was a place to store it on the figure. Uh, that's the only thing. Uh, it, I mean, it's gonna fit in his hand. That's about it. Let's bring the figure in and take a look at it. Here we go. All right. So this is one of those occasions where classified hits the nostalgia 3.75 inch to the extreme. I don't have one of these on hand, but this basically looks like the three, three quarter enlarged to six inches. Uh, it looks fantastic. We've got a scar here. We've got this, it's movable, so it's basically a blue undershirt. We've got the Cobra here on the waist, and the crotch, on the thighs, the pads. We've got the spot for the knife. We plug the knife in here, right there for that. And also plug the knife here, uh, here on this side, like that. Got a lot of knives. Looks great. I mean, this is, this is, you know, this is spot on. 
blue, silver, red, kind of dulled, nothing too shiny, but uh, it looks just like the twins. The The biggest thing I would say out of accessories uh, that's missing is like a zip line. That would have been a nice nod to the original toy uh, to have that in there. I, I'm, you know, would have been nice just to include that in, but the figure looks great. Articulation is, is standard GI Joe classified. You got these shoulder pads that are actually tied into this uh, cross piece here. But you got the butterfly, you got the bicep rotation, you got the elbow, wrist, hits on the ball, does all that stuff. We've got waist, abdominal crunch, nice crunch on this one. Nice sounds. Leg out to there, leg out to there, leg back. Legs back are always limited. Thigh cut, can hardly even see the cut. Knee is nice, got a double knee right there. This is not so tight uh, as some of the Joes have been lately. Uh, for some reason, they have been amazingly tight in the knee joints. Uh, you got the rocker, you got toe down, uh, a little toe up. Well, not much toe up, but you can definitely do down. Excited uh, for this line and what they're doing. They've done a, a really good job. I know a lot of people complain about the, trying to get the, the pre-orders and stuff, but uh, I got them all. I got Mindbender, got Sergeant Slaughter, and I got Serpentor. So all the cool stuff's coming. Can't wait. Love the G.I. Joe line uh, and what they're doing with it. Just a few minor nitpicks. Play his weapon in there, and uh, he's good to go. We're going to take a look at his brother. Uh, and uh, get his finger. There we go. Reminds me of that James Bond pose from, uh, which one was it? Casino Royale, maybe? Quantum of Solace, I don't know, where he's holding the MP5 up like that. But, uh, nice. Nice figure. Uh, other than that, I can't really find any fault. I mean, it's a solid figure out of the box. Everything looks on spot. Got a decent amount of accessories. The real world weaponry is where they're really are doing a great job with it. Love it. And uh, minor nitpicks, you know, should have been too bad. Should include zip line. Other than that, I'm good with it and glad to have it in the collection. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, go up there, hit that subscribe button. I've got several more Joes to do, and then, we, you know, we may jump on back into Transformers. I know it's been a little bit of a leap. I have been buying it. Well, I haven't been buying, but I've been acquiring a bunch of legends. So a lot of videos uh, are coming down the road, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, check out the playlist with G.I. Joe's. Got a bunch of stuff if you're interested in checking that out. And uh, thanks for watching. See you down the road. Great thing.